Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a tour of the room that I film in. This is where my closet is, my dresser, kind of my vanity area, and I film most of my videos in here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how I have everything organized and I'll do my makeup collection and show you the whole kind of overview of it. Alright guys, so this is what the room looks like when you first walk in the door. And then up here is one of my favorite DIYs I've ever done on my channel, the DIY Faux Capiche Shell Chandelier. I can't believe how easy this was to do. It took a little time, but it was so worth it. I love that thing. So pretty with the light on. And then I have a couple of plants to greet you in the doorway here. One hanging plant and then my umbrella papyrus along with my Mount Pinatubo volcanic ash giraffe. Oh, and this cream shag rug is from Costco. So this is where I sit and film all my videos. The chair is from Ross. It's a white tufted faux leather chair and it's adjustable in height. It's actually a bar stool, but it just worked out perfectly for this and it was the right height to match up with my dresser, which I use as my vanity also. I also work here a lot. So I'm on the computer working a lot with our business and also um, I do blogging here and of course the videos and DIY projects and everything. It's just a very kind of multitasking sort of desk area for me. And then over on this side is the background that you guys usually see in all my videos just of my clothing rack and my mirrored chest back there is from Ross and then up here is my sort of uh, tapestry of my air plants so it's my air plant collection and I just needed a place for them and it just worked out really well to do a DIY for them so here's the clothing rack that you guys see in the background of my videos I got this on Amazon but it's actually from Ikea it's the Ikea Riga or Riga garment rack but I had to order through Amazon because we don't have Ikea out here um, if you're looking for a nice white clothing rack this one has been excellent so I store and organize kind of all of my cardigans and lightweight summer sweaters out here I have all the hangers matching so they're all like those really slim line uh, just kind of cream colored velvet hangers so it can fit a lot on there and it looks kind of uniform but also organized by color so I kept all my neutrals out here I didn't have any bright colors that I wanted out here because I didn't want it to look too cluttery so I just kept it all neutral and organized them in kind of an ombre color effect it also has a rack across the bottom where you can put your shoes. So that is the extent of my shoe collection there. And we'll move it a little bit closer and I'll show you on the bottom row what I did for those shoes. So along the bottom row, these shoes look like they're sitting on the carpet, which is the look I was going for, but I didn't actually want dirty shoes sitting on clean carpet just because I'm a germ freak and I'm kind of weird about things like that. So instead what I did was I went to the fabric store and I found this clear vinyl. And so I just got a piece of that and I cut out a strip that was just wide enough for my shoes and I slid it under there. Actually worked out perfect because whenever you need to you can wipe it clean um, so that way you don't have to have the soles of dirty shoes sitting on your clean carpet. And just to the left hanging on my closet doorknob is just a little fringe clutch. It's Carlos Santana. I got that at Ross a while back and I love anything with fringe. I wasn't sure where to put it. I wanted to sort of display the fringe so it's just kind of temporarily hanging out there for now. And then on the right is that mirrored chest that I got from Ross several years ago. In the top drawer I just keep my flat irons and a couple of wide tooth combs because I like to use those a lot. In the middle drawer I have my blow dryer and a hair cap for doing hot oil treatments. And in the bottom drawer, I have some of my travel items. So kind of like my, my really tiny hair dryer from Thailand and then a small flat iron um, came in a set with my, my full size one from Soldra. On top of the mirror drawers, I have this large woven vase. I got that at Ross a long time ago and I just use it to hang some of my long necklaces on. Uh, just the ones that I kind of wear the most often. And then I also have these curly white willow branches inside the vase. And here's how I've been storing my belt. So this is actually a paper towel holder that I found at Target and it's clear acrylic and it just had a nice clean sort of crisp look. And so I thought, you know what, that would be perfect for storing my belts because I don't have a whole lot. I mean, I have just enough where they would all fit on here perfectly. All right, so there's how it looks. It also has these little kind of gummy nubs on the bottom so it keeps it from sliding around. So that's how I've been storing my belts and it's pretty easy to get them off when, you know, there's like one down the line here, just grab the end and just like peel it right off there. Uh, but usually I keep the ones that I wear most at the very top. So all the rest of my clothes that I hang up are in my closet. So everything that hangs is either on this garment rack or in the closet that you're looking at right now. Now, when it comes to closet organization and hanging your clothes and how to organize them, my number one goal is always to organize by color and it helps reduce the kind of busyness of the closet. Um, so as long as they're by color, I I'm good. I'm not too particular about the sleeve lengths being right next to each other. Um, I just like to have the sort of flow of color happening. 
On the top shelf, I have my travel bag and beach bag. The travel bag is by Hayes USA. I got it at Costco a few years ago. And then the beach bag is from Ross, and that is by Sand and Sun, something like that. Anyway, it's just a woven, big, huge, woven, like, oversized beach bag, which I love those. And then off to uh, this side here, this corner, let me see if I can get in there and grab that binder. This is just a one inch binder that I got at Walmart and I put these um, just like sheet protectors in here and I just use it to sort of um, just add pictures that sort of inspire me, I guess. So it's like having a collage that inspires you except instead of having it just out on your wall, it's just confined to a binder. So I'll just add pictures in here of whatever like fashion or you know any sort of style that inspires me, jewelry that inspires me or you know, I guess uh, hair, yeah, hair, swimsuits, uh, you know, fitness. That always is inspiring to look at pictures of people that are really fit. And then yeah, I have some like, I don't know, this has like smoothie recipes and things like that in there. On the floor, I keep some of my workout gear, like my dumbbells, ankle weights, yoga mat. And then on the other side, I have this kind of oversized market bag that I keep some of the items that I picked up while traveling, like little sling bags, like little fabric hobo style bags uh, that go, you know, cross body, um, like little coin purse. It's just sort of like my special little sentimental, I guess, accessory storage bin. Now on this wall, I have two sets of closet made nine cube shelves and then one corner shelf, which is down there. And I already did a video on the organizing of these because I just recently redid them for spring. So if you saw that video, then you already know everything that's on here. So I'll just kind of do a quick overview. So at the top, I have my handbags, sun hats. I have some body care from Maui Gold and then a small leather bound journal. A couple cubes have some jewelry, just uh, necklaces, bracelets, and then some rings and stones, gemstones. I also have some succulents in the pots. The three white pots are from Target. They were so cute. They kind of have this adobe, sort of really cool texture to them. I have some scarves rolled up in that bamboo salad bowl. I also have an ombre scarf there on the end shelf, my lightweight sweaters, and kind of white linen. The fabric drawers in the bottom have all of my DIY supplies. So I have everything from fabric to kind of like body care, beauty ingredients, as well as some hair care products and some different things. And this is my giraffe I mentioned earlier that's made from the volcanic ash of Mount Pinatubo. I just thought it was really cool. It had a nice texture. And I actually already showed this in my uh, cube organizing video. So you guys have seen that before, but it sits right here at the door. So it greets you as you walk in. And then down below are my sunglasses, perfume, and then a globe inbox. And stash right behind my door, I have these art canvases and a painting that I'm currently working on. I haven't had very much free time lately. I've been working a lot and I just haven't got to sit down and be able to paint like I want to. So hopefully that will come soon and all these canvases will be used up and they won't be stashed behind my door. They'll be on my wall somewhere instead. Oh, and I haven't mentioned the curtains yet. These are ivory shears from Ross and they have scalloped edges on the bottom. They just have a slight break on the floor or a slight pooling. And down here is an ombre floor poof that I made out of a thrift store sweater and an overstuffed pillow. So it was just a large 20 inch pillow. I didn't actually film this because it's very similar to the project that we did, the DIY sweater pillows. So if you wanna know how to make it, it's just like that, except I use sweater on both sides and then added tassels. So really fun and just kind of different. I found this dresser last year on Craigslist and it was originally a stained oak and so we gave it a makeover and painted it in bare sea salt. And then on the inside of the drawers, it's a contrasting color. It's kind of a mint color. It's bare tide pools. And a while back I did a video on how I organized my dresser drawers. So I won't go through them again because it's pretty much exactly the same. The only drawers that have changed are these two on the side here, the upper top ones. So I'll show you those. All right, so the majority of my makeup is stored in here. I have three MAC eyeshadow quads back here, three MAC blushes, a few Bobbi Brown eyeshadows, a Bobbi Brown pot rouge, a couple of eyeliners, a couple of lip liners, a Becca highlight, a bronzing skin perfecter, the Becca ombre nudes palette, and then three Urban Decay palettes. These are all my lipsticks here. I do have a few lipsticks uh, out on top of my dresser though, but I have all my MAC lipsticks here, Revlon, um, some eyeshadow insurance, a concealer, under eye corrector from Bobbi Brown, a couple of Anastasia uh, brow products, the dip brow, and brow whiz. I have a mascara and my little uh, like tools like little pair of scissors and tweezers. And I have a video on how to make these DIY custom drawer dividers for any size drawer so if you want to see that I'll post that video below. 
On top of my dresser, I have these three acrylic containers. These are all from Ross. This is a travel size Kleenex dispenser. It also has Q-tips and cotton pads inside, which is really handy to have in your vanity area. And then I have this container, which houses some of my kind of just nicer packaged makeup. So I have some of my favorite lipsticks out here, a couple of my favorite lip glosses. These are from Pacifica. I have a Bootsy Oil. Um, this makeup here in this packaging is the new Sonia Kashuk Sahara Sunset Collection, which is beautiful. And then uh, a couple of like buxom lip glosses, lipsticks, and uh, lip liners here. And then over here are some Becca Beach Tints, Shimmer Souffles, and this container has Tarte Amazon and Clay Blushes, and there's another one down there. I got the stackable glass jar at Goodwill for $2. It has two compartments. In the bottom compartment, I keep my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess bronzer, a blush, and a travel brush. And then in the top compartment, I have a couple of Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Jellies, a blush from the Sony Kashuk Sahara Sunset Collection in Casablanca, and then an EOS lip balm in Coconut Milk. I never liked EOS lip balms before, but this one I love. And I have it sitting on this marble slab that I got at Habitat for Humanities The Restore for 50 cents. I have my brushes organized in this palm wood mug that I found at Goodwill for a dollar, and the brushes that I have in there are Essence of Beauty and Eco Tools. They're all the ones with the bamboo handles. I recently downsized my brush collection because I just, I had a bunch that I wasn't using, so I just wanted to kind of simplify it, and so I feel a lot better about having a much smaller selection. I have my flat iron sitting on top of a stone mosaic, and that was the first mosaic that Michael had made. He specifically made it for all my hot hair tools. Um, and we actually showed how to make this. It was one of the DIY projects that was in our small bathroom makeover. So I'll post that video below if you wanna see how to make it. So that stone mosaic has been awesome for helping to protect the top of my dresser and help conduct heat. Or is that the right term? I don't know, it doesn't get hot when you have hot things on it. In the corner, I have a small ponytail palm. This is one of my favorite plants to grow. They can grow outside in direct sunlight or inside in bright indirect lighting. But usually I will have like a white orchid if it's in bloom uh, right in that spot. Or sometimes I'll bring in cut flowers from the garden or something like that. So I like to switch up my plants um, at my desk here every so often. And the white stones you see in the top there are actually coral. I got that at Walmart, a big bag of it, and so I use that as top dressing in some of my other uh, potted plants. And the pot I got at Ross, I just really like the whole cool kind of earthy texture of it. I guess the last thing to share with you in this room is probably my front and center drawer here, which I can keep some of my skincare items in, so let me show you that. So I have all my natural skincare organized in this drawer. This is quite possibly one of my favorite little areas in my entire house because I just love pulling open this drawer and seeing all my favorite natural skincare items in here. Um, and this mat, it's kind of like, it's got these wood rounds on it. It's actually just a placemat that I got at Target. I just looked at it and I thought, wow, that's really cool to like do display with. So that's what that is. And then I just have some of my favorite items kind of organized in here. Um, so I have my oils like Tamanu, Rosehip, Baobab, uh, Shea Butter. I have a couple of clays like my red Moroccan clay. Um, this one was a gift from a friend here on YouTube. And then let's see, uh, Pangea Organics facial mask. That one is really, really good. It's the Japanese matcha tea and it has acai and goji berry. It's expensive though, but it's good. And then I have a glycolic mask from Andalou Naturals, one of my favorite skincare lines. I get that at my local health food store. And then um, this washcloth, it's Ayate washcloth, uh, natural agave fiber. This one I wanted to do a video on, so I didn't want to just rip the new one out of the package. I wanted to like share it with you guys. Oh, and I forgot to mention these bowls. I got them in the kitchen section at Ross. Uh, they're just regular, like they're supposed to be like little salad bowls to go with that big salad bowl that I got that I have scarves in right now. But yeah, I like to use those for organizing. This one has all my favorite uh, like uh, tea tree oils. I have tea tree essential oils, a couple different ones in there. Lip Rescue, which is a tea tree lip balm from Desert Essence. And then this one has my Acure oils. So I've got my Moroccan argan oil with coconut and then facial serum, a regular argan oil and marula oil, all from Acure. And over here I have a Yerba Prima skin brush, which is excellent for stimulating circulation and kind of just exfoliating and refreshing their skin. It's, it's really good. All right guys, so that was my room tour. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm gonna let you go and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, bye.